I'll have kids, Sounds sit good. at home, be quiet, make coffee. Yeah. And, and it makes everybody happier yep. in the long run. <laughs> it's good. I know what he's saying. <laughs> well, you can uncross your arms. <laughs> Come on. Andrew Tate is a very polarizing and controversial figure who has absolutely exploded in popularity since his social media ban. His strong opinions about what it means to be a man in the modern world can trigger a lot of people. And so I thought to myself, hey, I should show this Tate character to my wife who has never heard of this guy before. This is what happened. But you know, I say these things and people really genuinely think I'm crazy. Yeah. But I, I, I mean everything I say. That's <laughs> what I love about you is that you really are just not afraid to say. He's a maverick. Yeah. I'm a maverick, yeah, that's exactly what I am. I'm yeah. hard to kill, yes. like, yeah. like Steven Seagal. Yeah. So I am a dumb bitch. How can I not be so stupid and keep my husband? I want to keep him happy, and I think all the women listening to, they want to know the secrets to I'll a good you, relationship. I'll tell you the secrets. Yeah. I don't think most women understand what men are looking for in general from life. Okay. And it's not just relationships, it's in general from life. I think, and when I say think, I mean I know, that men are biologically designed, we're evolutionarily hardwired to seek status. That's what yes. we want. Men talk about wanting money. You don't want money, you want power. Mm -hmm. You want power, you want status, you want the fast car, you don't care about the car. You want everyone to know you have the car and they can't have the car. Right. If everyone had a Lambo, mm -hmm. you wouldn't want a Lambo, right? Right. Right. So we want status. So every single thing we do is status driven to some degree. It's true. Meaning the female we are with, mm has to add status to our lives in some form. Mm. That's why we like beautiful women, right? Right. But a beautiful woman who doesn't behave and doesn't obey isn't really much status. Yep. So when we're looking for status, we want a beautiful woman who is compliant because it's unique and it's scarcity that provides value. Right. So if you want to keep your man happy, you need to think, how do I make my man look better to the world? How do I make him look better in front of other men? You know what? If I were to just make him two coffees and shut the fuck up, yeah. he's going to look like the big G and he's going to be in love with me. That's what you have to do well, as a woman. Well, a let, me, let me just stop you real quick and say something. You've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> me? Yeah. I brought you two coffees this morning because you were coming in, and I said, Tommy, here's your two coffees. I did. I'm just saying, he made a lot of sense. And just, what are you fucking... Just, I'm just saying, keep taking notes. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> <Keep taking notes. laughs> so, so, so give me some examples of how I can... Know. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on that first? <laughs> the way he says it is a bit... but. He's right. He's a bit what? Big English woman. <laughs> Abrupt. There's Very no... blunt. <laughs> like, you, you know how like a, a spoon full of sugar? He's like, nah, fuck the sugar. Here's the medicine. I don't really disagree. I really don't. Especially his point about why men are attracted to like attractive women. But if they're attractive and they don't really add to your life in anything other than the fact that they're beautiful, what are they adding? Like, how are they really bringing anything into your life? Like, it's just a, oh yeah, I've got a beautiful wife. And I mean, if that's all you're after, then awesome. But like, I don't know. I agree. Like, you want someone who brings more status to your life. My status, therefore increasing his status. You, you, you mentioned the two coffees. Now, what? again, why why do you request that? Let, let's go through the logic of that. Sure. So, yeah. Because it's a basic respect thing, right? And compliance is something which is going to increase the status of your man in front of other people. Right. And truthfully, it's not really a very big ask. The fact that it's basically pointless is the whole point of it. Mm -hmm. I drink one. I don't drink the other one. It's just a respect thing. It's doing something which is basically pointless to show you have respect for me. And that's not me being insecure or crazy or whatever. I have a lot of jobs as a man, and I make sure I fulfill my side of the duty fantastically. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. I'm going to take care of us financially, et cetera, et cetera. So if I do my side of the bargain, I want your side of the bargain, which is I want to feel respected in the household. And also, too, I worry if I'm too submissive, will he not respect me? Nah, no, no, respect? no, no, no. Get, get, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that stupid That shit. won't respect oh, wow. me crap. That's not real. Is that yeah. real? Really? I, you know what? So many women say to me, you're so, Andrew, Jeez. you know what? You're so rich, but you're smart and you're actually very intelligent. And I know you'd get really bored of a, like a robot. And I'm sitting there thinking, bitch, I wish to God you're a robot. <laughs> You better <laughs> shut the fuck up. We talk about star signs? Oh, yeah, I'm so glad. Tell me more about by Sagittarius rising, you idiot. I don't give a fuck. Give me a robot. All men want robots. That's all we want. Yeah. Four wives, robots, inshallah. Yeah. Put the put the, put the the burke on. Yep. What are you talking about? We don't care. Two coffees. Yeah. That's, that's it. It's yeah. nice and easy. There's yeah. no such thing as too submissive.
There's no such thing. There's, I'm never going to look at a beautiful woman who does everything I say and go, you know what? You do too much of what I say. I want to go get some disagreeable bitch. Yeah, exactly. Wow. On one planet. Because when people attack my views, what they don't understand is that the relationships I'm describing are not just perfect for the man. Women are absolutely happy serving a man they respect. Women are absolutely happy saying, you know what? I know I have the best man on the planet and I know I make him happy. Women are happy yeah. with that. Yeah, that's true. They're far more happy with that than they are working some fucking career. Yeah. And some garbage. Oh, I have thoughts and opinions and a job. Yeah, shut so the bulls, fuck up. Shut the up. fuck up. Have kids, Damn, sit bitch. at home, be quiet, make coffee. Yeah. And, and it makes everybody happier yeah. in the long run. <laughs> it's good. I know what he's saying. <laughs> but fuck being that kind of person. Too submissive. You can, you can, you can, you can well, you can uncross your arms. <laughs> Come on. I know that's what you want, and this is something we always talk about. You just want a completely submissive woman. I get it. I know. I'm the like, wow. This is why you're showing me this video, isn't it? No. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I think this guy is a misogynistic asshole. Uh, Should get banned on social media. I don't Are you serious? <laughs> I like when you just baby. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, this is, I, I do not agree whatsoever. No, no, no. 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 Uh, but uh, let me show you all these other people that do agree. I get but, okay, it. There's, I there's get a few it. points there. He's like, yes, he's right. Like, it's, <laughs> what every guy wants is a completely submissive woman. I don't know him, so I'm not going to project. But from what I understand, I think he does mean what he says. But there's a part of him that he says it in a way that's extra abrasive to get a reaction out of. Yeah, yeah, and like I get that, up. I get that, I get so that. There's a, there's and because he's talking, he's talking with that, a comedian as well, so like, okay, but like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he finds it. I hilarious. get it. I yeah, yeah. get it. But look, there there are different ways of showing respect. Being completely submissive, it's like it's like when we play fight, and I completely give in, and I give you absolutely nothing. Takes the fun out of it. Not always. It depends what though. But yeah, see? It this is what I what. mean. You're right. It's a respect is in respect is in different ways. I feel like other like most women and he's right, when most women respect their man, they are more than happy to do any and every one of these things. Like my man's been working all day. You know what? Uh, I'm going to make sure I have a nice cooked meal for him so that as soon as he gets home, he knows that I'm grateful, he knows that I love him, and he has a nice meal to come home to. Knowing you have an event on or something, making sure you have nice clean clothes mm. to do it. Like, taking the work out of it for you to make your life easier. It is a respect thing. There are different levels of showing respect. To be a completely submissive woman is like... And to say that you want a robot, there are blow-up dolls. Get a blow-up doll then. You don't want a human. You, you, you want a fake person that does nothing. That does nothing or does everything that you ever tell them with that resistance? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not saying that's a good thing, but that's technically what a robot would be. It would be the opposite of it. It's not that it does yes, nothing. Yes, but how do you, like... Okay, like say I'm yes. not saying it's a good thing. I get I it. No, but I get it. But it's like, how do you have an emotional connection with that? How do you have that bond that, like, yes, fair enough. We just recently watched by Centennial Man. Yes, that's right. AI can become sentient. He was a completely submissive, did everything they requested and whatever. It was so hard for everyone to be able to make that emotional connection with him because they still saw him as a robot. He's only talking about the man getting respect. So what, the woman doesn't get any respect? Like, none? Her respect is, yeah, thanks, bitch. Bring me my two coffees, bitch. His words. There's no, nothing about, there's nothing about respect for women. It's, it's all about, yeah, if I can have babies and stay at home. I mean, I have no problem with that, but hey, I still deserve respect. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so
So, like, some aspects of it I do agree with. It's, but it's I think stimulating it's just... a good conversation, I yeah. think. So, yeah. let's continue. I don't know how this is but, even controversial anymore. Right, but, but Cobra, might I interject that if women were truly happy doing that for so long, maybe this whole women's live thing, how did that come about? That's a psyop from the New World Order. They're deliberately trying to turn women against men. They have to divide the peasants. That's the only way they, the elites can retain control. They turn the blacks against the whites, the Democrats oh. against the Republicans, the women against the men. It's all a psyop, and they do it purposefully. Listen, a revolution is nothing more than men standing in one place and saying this shit has to change. The reason there's no revolution, despite the absolute tyranny we experience here in the Western world, is because most men aren't allowed out, out the house because their wife will get mad at them. You have to be home at 10 o'clock. Come home. Yeah. You're not allowed out. But what, what about the kids? Uh, should he be home? Sure, sure, you should be home for your kids. But my point is, you're not going to feel like a king or feel brave enough to go and re rebel against the New World Order if right. you don't even feel in charge of your own house. That's their if you're not a king in your that. own house, then how are you a king anywhere else, right? And, and the law is set up in a way in the I'm Western world. Like that. The law is set up in a way in the Western world where men have absolutely zero power. Most men are, are clinically depressed, working jobs they hate for, in sexless marriages, and they know they can't leave because they lose the house and they lose the kids and they lose everything else. So they don't have t time to be concerned with anything that's actually happening in the world. They keep mm. us divided and distracted. And empowering females is the easiest way to weaken the will of men. Mm. What happened when, you con when the Romans conquered the Greeks? The first thing they did was kill all the fighting age males. And we live in a world now where they are deliberately killing the fighting age males. They're killing the spirit, the warrior spirit inside of men. And they're doing that by motivating men, sorry, motivating females and empowering them to the point where they're going to sit there and go, you know what? I'm a feminist. You can't tell me what to do. I'm allowed to go out with my friends. He's just my friend. I'm allowed to sleep at his house and drink vodka. Oh, I only sucked his dick. What's the problem? You know what? Fine, we get a divorce. I'm taking the fucking house. Yeah. It's bullshit. So there's Is a lot, there's he a lot married? Lot to, there's a lot to unpack there. I don't know. Instead of going to his personal life, just let's just go to the point that he raised. If he's a single bachelor, which he gives the vibe off that he is, I was trying to see if there was a ring, I can't. I don't know. Maybe he is married. We have to unpack um, more about yeah. his life. Maybe sure. he is or whatever, but if he's not, then... Um, yeah, the only reason I don't want to talk about that because I don't know, you don't know. Yeah. So it's like, let's just... Uh, so he first start talking about basically this new world order. Do you think that's just some kind okay, paranoid so, conspiracy theory or do you think there is forces that are trying to weaken the man and destroy the family unit and t and divide people against each other <laughs> so that way strong men won't revolt and they they become enslaved in the matrix, become weakened within their own household. Like you said, like if you're not a king in your own house, how the fuck are you supposed to rule out there in the world? So So what what do you think of that? Know how people are gonna react to don't, don't you get shit about how people react. <laughs> Tell the truth. How you honestly feel. How I I'm, honestly I'm done. Feel? Yeah, yeah. He I, gives a shit about how people feel. I but just be I, authentic. I agree. Oh. I think. Let me get your. Oh, I need. I need an aluminum foil. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. I don't, I don't know if there's extra forces or whatever, but like I agree that there is an attack on masculinity nowadays in the point where men don't feel like men because men have been shamed so much into the point where it's toxic max masculinity that has been thrown around so much now that men are basically afraid to do regular just masculine things and oh, um, wait what is what is masculine Things. So things like he was saying, like taking charge of your household. And I don't think people understand the kind of stress and pressure that that does for a man. Like that freaks me out thinking about it. Cause I think about everything my dad had to go through. And then I think yeah. about my brothers, like my older brother, my younger brother. Um, I think about the pressure that it would be for them, more my younger brother than anything, like I, I, th I think about the pressure for him it would be to support a family, to, to work hard and like, it's a lot. And I feel like people forget that that was all just kind of like plopped on men to kind of be like, you have to look after your family, you have to provide. Like that is a big deal. And I think that is why femi the feminism kind of kicked up a bit. So do you think that the rise of feminism is because women were just fed up with being That's I guess, what I mean. I a think I think it's or? I think it's a mixture of things. 
I think that there is a portion of it where, because I get bored, I get bored at home. I like to work. I like to make money and I like to be that person. Does that mean that I'm what taking over the masculine role because I like to work and I like to provide not saying that I do. I don't but know what does that, that means. Does, I don't know. does that take away because I don't I don't want to take away from your masculinity. It's a subjective thing. Maybe people feel differently about this. For me, it's not that you work. Maybe if you were the only one that worked mm. and I was just like feeding off the government or just feeding off purely yeah. off your money, absolutely. That would be completely emasculating for me personally. Yeah. Cuz I would rather be your partner. It's not about yes. like and and if you wanted to do that, psh, I'm all for it. I'd I'd do a part-time job or I would do something because I would get bored day to day just being here doing nothing. So I would need something to entertain myself which would be work. So if 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 that was what was to happen then okay. I think Why what you turn the garden and sew and cuz I work. <laughs> What's some other best legend to do? <laughs> bake. I do bake sew. Food. <laughs> what are you talking about? My sewing machine's <laughs> out. My sewing machine's out gardens. there. And, and I got it. I, like, I mow the lawn. I cook. I wash the dishes. I'm, like, I'm doing it all, man. <laughs> Except for the laundry. I don't do the laundry. <laughs> We're working We're on working it. On We're working on it. On Respect it. that. <laughs> um, I think... So, so you agree? I, th- you wait, agree- wait, wait, no. okay, I think it's a situation that was taking advantage of, because it's like it's like back in the days when all the men were at work, war and the women went to work. That was the first step. That was a big deal, because a lot of women more than happy to stay at home, but a lot of women weren't. A lot of women wanted to make a difference. A lot of women wanted to get out there and have a purpose aside from their kids and being a mother because before you have kids or if you don't have kids you 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 still need to identify as someone or something like and and if you don't have kids and you're just at home doing nothing waiting like there's just there's so much more to it so I, I don't really think that's fair it's gotten out of hand and that now it has been an attack on masculinity like it's not okay to be too manly and I do somewhat agree with the whole um, being the king of your kingdom and men not being able to uprise. Yes. It seems like the hierarchy has inverted uh, from my observation. Like, because it seems like in the past it was the man who was the head of the household, mm-hmm. then the wife. It was a partnership, but there was like, it was the head of the household. Mm-hmm. But like in the big, big fat Greek wedding, the woman is the neck. So yeah, yeah the, the woman joke. is the head. Uh, no, the man is the head, but the woman is the neck, and she can turn the head any way she wants. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's the kids, obviously. Mm-hmm. Whereas now it's completely inverted. It's the kids who rule the household, because the kids manipulate the mother's emotions. Mm-hmm. Right. This is what I did. I can speak from experience here. Mm-hmm. The kids manipulate the mother, then the mother, of course, leads the man. So really, it's like whatever the kids want. And what's who's teaching the kids? The Matrix, the government, social media. Which I think is why these kids now uh, are so sensitive. Yeah. The world we're, now is so sensitive. We're more so depressed sensitive. than we ever have been before. We're more anxious. We've got more diabetes. We're killing ourselves. And this is all normal. You know? I saw... Everything's... Degenerating. I saw a little Absolutely. video the other day that was kind of full on in the in the way that it was showing uh, a woman. She just says, you know, when you are you, when you are at your absolute lowest, a lot of men reacted to it and response responded to it, and every single one of them was like, "Who do I call? I'm a man. No one. Absolutely no one." No one cares and no one will listen. And I was like, fuck, that's horrible. Because even if you're a man, you should still have someone, someone at your absolute lowest, I would hope. And if you don't, I get it because we're also raised in a way where it's like, shit happens, 
deal with it. A female friend won't do shit for you besides try and get attention out of you. That's it. It's a waste of time to have female friends as a man. Complete waste of time. They don't give you anything.